succeed, he fails. צריכים לדעת, we should all know, שמן השמיים הפילו אותו. That they pushed him off from heaven. Hashem itbarach, he was the one that decided that the viceroy is going to fail. כמו שכתוב, like that it's written in Likute Moharan, Torah Resh, Samech Aleph. כשנופל אדם ממדרגתו, when a person is falling from his level, from his stage, ידע שמן השמיים הוא וכו'. He should know that it's from heaven. It's all by HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You were learning three pages of Gemara a day. You were putting your tefillin and davening in Anetzach Hama. You were going to the mikveh every day. You were making it bodedut every day. You were doing six hours every week. You had your shalom bayit. You, everything that you had, HaKadosh Baruch Hu decided to take it away from you. Dehainu. Why? Because שהזמינו לו ניסיון, that הקדוש ברוך הוא brought him that test, ולא עזרו לו לעמוד בו, and they didn't help him to stand in that test, to succeed in that test, וממילא הוא נפל, and this is why he fell down, just simple as that, הקדוש ברוך הוא failed him, הקדוש ברוך הוא brought him a test, and did not help him to stand in that test, And he failed. It's simple. For sure, this is what's going to happen, right? Ki adam eino yachol l'amod b'shum nisayon. Because a person cannot stand in no test im lo azrim lo min ha-shamayim. If they will not help him from heaven. You cannot succeed your life alone. You will never succeed your life alone. Only if HaKadosh Baruch Hu gonna help you, only then you're gonna succeed. כמו שאמרו חז"ל, like that it's written in the Gemara, רבותינו said, בכל יום, in every day, יצרו של אדם מתגבר עליו. The יצר הרע of the person is getting stronger than him. ואלמלא הקדוש ברוך הוא עוזרו, and if not that הקדוש ברוך הוא is helping that person, אינו יכול לו. He cannot win the יצר הרע. This is our life. This is it. You cannot win unless if HaKadosh Baruch Hu gonna let you win. This is what Arav Shalom said. You don't need to feel sorry, to feel bad with the fact that you have Yetzer Ara. It's like that you're gonna feel bad that you have two arms, two eyes, two ears. It's something that HaKadosh Baruch Hu created and put it inside of you and you cannot get rid of it until HaKadosh Baruch Hu is winning it himself. You cannot win your Yetzer Ara. You can beat a Yetzer Ara. Only a Kadosh Baruch Hu can do it for you. So all of our tefillot, davening, we're not supposed to daven to win, to beat the Yetzer Ara. We should beg a Kadosh Baruch Hu to remove the Yetzer Ara from us. This is it. Yes. So what does that uh, line, uh, how does that come with, uh, it says that a person who wants to matire himself, they help him from Shemaim number one, and number two, that Hashem doesn't send a person a test that they can't pass. Both of them are very easy. First of all, the, the, the first one that you said, that... You said a person is doing everything good, they're trying, so they should be helping from Shemaim. So you said they decided to stop helping from For Shemaim. sure. That I, uh, we, we said, if, when a Kadosh Baruch Hu is not helping the person, It's to rebuke him that he's not doing his effort <coughs> himself, that he's not going in the right path. When the person is doing the right things, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to help him. So exactly, this is, it just reflects the same thing. What you said, when a person is doing, they're leading the person in the path that he wants to walk in. But you said sometimes from Shemaim they want to take it away from him. When? When he's sinning. When he's forgetting that it's all from Hashem. When a person is waking up every morning to the Netzach Hama. And he, in the beginning, he was very humble. He had his Hakarat Atov to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Thank you Hashem that you gave me that privilege. But now, after two years that he's waking up in the Netzach Hama, someone is getting into the Bet Midrash and he sees someone sitting in his chair. So it's his kise, it's his, his seat. Two years is davening in this minyan. What are you coming and sitting in my chair? 
So he is forgetting that Hakadosh Baruch Hu is giving him the privilege to daven in that Bet Knesset. He thinks that he owns that Bet Knesset now. He thinks that he is important now. What are you sitting in my chair? So then Hakadosh Baruch Hu is pushing that person from the minyan of Anetzachama. For another two or three or five or seven years, he will not daven in the Netzachama, he's going to be humble, and then when he's going to come back to the Bet Knesset, he's going to kiss the walls, he's going to kiss the, the chairs, he's going to kiss the people, he's going to see that person that is sitting over there, he's going to admire him, he's going to, he's going to honor him, he's going to, you understand? So it all depends in humility. The second thing that you said was, that they, don't, they don't give you a test that you can't pass. Exactly. You don't give you a test that you cannot stand in that test means that if a person is trying to stand in that test himself without Hashem, for sure he, he will not make the test. Only if you're trying to join Hashem with you into that test, for sure you're going to succeed with every test. The advice that you're saying to a person that is saying to you, listen, I don't know how to deal with this, I don't know how to deal with that. You're telling him, go to Hashem. Because you're dealing with it. You're dealing problem. with it, exactly. If you're going to put Hashem with you in that trouble, but that narrow part, that uh, path that you have, going to be wide. But because HaKadosh Baruch going to help you. So this is what it means, that there is no problem that you cannot solve. Why? Because if you're going to call HaKadosh Baruch we're going to help you with every situation. If you're not calling him, so this is the problem. Alright. And when the person is putting a lot of effort in getting closer to HaKadosh Baruch to Hashem Yitbarach, לחזור בתשובה, to make his תשובה, לכבוש איזו תאווה או מידה רעה, to conquer a bad מידה or a lust or a desire that he's got. והוא נופל בכל פעם, and he's falling every time. He's fighting, he's trying to bad מידה רעה, he's got anger. And every time he's trying to break his anger, and again and again he becomes angry, he fails again. He, mamash, he can't control himself again and again. Tzarich sheyeda, he should know. Shemin hashamayim lo azrulo, that from heaven they decide not to help you yet. Veze letovato, and it's for your own good. Madua lo azrulo sheni la malchut. Why they're not helped? Why they didn't help that viceroy? Why they're not helping us? You're talking about a person that he is choter umitiyagel litkarev l'Hashem itbarach. That he's trying, he's putting his effort to get closer to Hashem itbarach, and still he's trying to learn. They're saying to him, "You're not gonna learn." He said, "All right, I'm gonna daven on that." No, you don't have time to make it bodedut today. He said, "All right, in the Shmona Esrei, I'm gonna focus on that thing. I can't do it bodedut. I'm gonna daven my Shmona Esrei right." No, you're gonna be busy in your Shmona Esrei. Your mobile is gonna fall. Gonna call you. Your wife is shouting. You have to finish after, after, before even Shlech Tzibur. No Mincha, no Mairi for you. No hope. What the person gonna do? He wants, but they're not helping him. Why? Why they didn't help the viceroy? And he fell down when he was on his way to save that princess. Why they're not helping the person to conquer that war? And he's falling every time. And he cannot take out to save his princess. The faith, the emunah, why he cannot believe in Hashem? The main reason for that is that the person adain eino ra'ui the person is not worthy yet to save that princess, to reach his goal. And if they're going to let him succeed immediately to make it, to conquer his war, the things that he wants to achieve, to make all of his will to succeed in every terms in his Avodat Hashem, Bimhirut, fast. If it's going to happen to him without falling, without stopping, he's going to get arrogant getting inside to him. He's going to be proud at himself. 
he's going to honor himself so much that it's going to ruin him. And he's going to think that he is reality. He's going to think that he's a tzaddik. Oh, look at me. I'm a very strong Baal Tshuva. Baal Tshuva is getting to a level that even a tzaddik Gamur cannot reach that level. Baal Tshuva, first year, finished. All Shas, after <laughs> another year, first year got married, second year finished all Shas, third year he become to be, a, he learned Halakha, third, fourth year he's a Dayan, he can be, so he's gonna think that he is a Tzaddik, and that he is better than all of the Tzaddikim, because in the place that Baalet Shuvah Omdim, even Tzaddikim cannot stand in that place. What's gonna be with that person? Shehu HaMashiach! You're gonna have Jerusalem syndrome. You're gonna think that he is. Does he have to get smeaked up before he gets Jerusalem syndrome? You don't need no. nothing. <laughs> They're going naked, those uh, Jerusalem syndromes. They don't need nothing, you see. They what is go it? naked, Jerusalem <laughs> syndrome. You think that they are Mashiach? There is. You didn't make that Mashiach. Yeah, they write about it all the time in, in the in the Arts of the Brit newspapers. No, it's they hang out at the, the, the wall over there. Well, fortunately, they're wearing clothes. You don't so. need to look at yeah. other people. No, no, no. Everyone they call, they call should look warm-ups. at his mirror in the morning when you're brushing your teeth. Look that you are thinking that you're Mashiach. brush his teeth. And if the person, and if the person is gonna be arrogant like that, he's gonna fall into a spiritual sleep. And he won't have no will because he's going to feel that he achieved it all. Now he's got everything. And he won't like to, wouldn't like to break his desires to work on himself. Nothing. He achieved it all. Because now he's going to think that he achieved a very high level. And he's going to be satisfied from himself. It's written in the book Beshar Gilgulim of Rabbi Chaim Vital. Rabbi Chaim Vital is saying that the sorrow that the Neshama have from that level, that a person doesn't want to progress in life, doesn't want to climb more, it's worse than all of the spiritual sorrow that the Neshama can have from all kinds of sins. It's worse. The person that thinks that he achieved it, all right, now I can rest. He's damaging his neshama more than if he was sinning the worst crimes, the worst sins in the world. Like, just like that. Just because he's, ah, he's proud, he's satisfied. He can rest now. The neshama is falling and falling and falling and getting ruined in a way that you can never imagine. That all of the sins in the world cannot ruin the neshama like that. Vekamuvan, and of course, Hashem Yitbarach eno rotze baze. Hashem Yitbarach does not want that. Ki hu rotze latet la adam atzlacha amitit. Because he wants to give the person a real success. La atzlacha dimyonit. Not imaginations of success that he's going to imagine that he succeed in his life. Because Hashem Yitbarach wants you to succeed. And then imaginations, shezerak yaziklo, just going to damage him. Be'achnis bo ga'ava. And only going to put inside to, to him. Arrogant. And this is the reason why Kadosh Baruch Hu is stopping us all in all of the, the, the things that stops us. And why that we're falling all of the time, Sheladam, of the person. It's all for his own good, really. To wake him up. To daven on things and to want those things. Shal Yadam, and by those davening and those will that he's gonna have, you look a limb that's liach behemet. He's gonna have the tools, the vessels to succeed really in his life. That's lachan itzchit, success that's gonna be internal, in, in, intern, for eternity. Eternity success. Eternal success. Sheperusho, that it means shegam kishe yagia la madrega retsuya, that also when he's gonna achieve that very high level that he wants, he's going to still remember that it's from Hashem. And he will not break his borders. And he's going to have new will to daven on them and to achieve them. 
like David HaMelech, that we know that he said that when HaKadosh Baruch Hu moved him from the from the being a shepherd of the cattle, that he was living with the animals, with the sheep, with the goats. He was living with them in the cages, in the Michlaot. And when he became to be a king, it happened in one day, he said, Lo gavali bi velo ramu enai. My heart didn't become arrogant, proud, and I didn't lift my eyes. I stayed humble, even though that you moved me, I didn't for forget that it was you that took me away from, from darkness that I was living in before.